I had one Here on, on right before he caught that one. Here on Washington's Grand Ron River. Turbo Toby's getting ready to uh, net one here. <sighs> Typical steelhead action. The keeper, the Todd's second keeper of the day, and he had a wild also. Little female. Typical. Is that, is that a typical size fish for this area? Yeah. This is your typical Grand Realm fish. And they're this big just because of uh, the hatchery, right? Pretty much? Uh, this is, the strain has always been this big. It's never been a big river fish. Um, a big fish river. They've always been, you know, four or five pounds. A big one, a really big one in this river is 10, 12 pounds. They're plentiful though. They get, you know, a lot of fish. Back on the Grand Ronde. Toby, how many different uh, styles of fishing can you do here? I mean, what uh, what different baits are available? Well, really, uh, there's several different baits, but uh, what we're using today is uh, we've been throwing three things at these fish. We've been throwing a little uh, little bead with a piece of yarn. Simple as that, huh? Yeah, and you can mix the yarn uh, pink or the uh, the orange. This particular one is kind of a, well, a pearl peach bead with a piece of orange yarn. Um, we've caught most of our fish today on these steelhead eggs cured in Potsky's uh, borax of fire, and this is the, the pink. I um, haven't caught anything on these yet, but I've done real good on these ones here. This is the borax of fire orange. And, uh, but this has been our hot ticket today, right here. How do you know when to use pink and when to use orange? Is there a certain scenario you're looking for? Well, basically uh, we just keep switching and trying until we, we hit and then we'll kind of stick with that. Today we haven't really dialed in one super hot thing other than the, the, the pink uh, borax of fire eggs. Uh, but the last fish we caught was, was on straight up, uh, it was orange and pink yarn mix. And uh, this river, it seems like, <laughs> one jumped right out there. This river, it seems like that uh, smaller presentations uh, do the best. Like tomorrow when we're fishing the clear water, you'll notice that the presentation, the fish are bigger, they're twice the size. But what we're throwing tomorrow, is, is the presentation is going to be two times, maybe three times as big as what we're throwing today. And uh, that's probably a lot to do with the fish size. We're fishing for smaller fish today. There's one fish on. Woo, Look at that. Baby. Right on call. Jake yeah. the Snake is in the house, folks. Johnny! <laughs> <laughs> who, 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 who let the snake go? <laughs> who, who, who? <laughs> that bit it good. Now this is a, a yarny, and it's uh, got a little peach and a little white in it. See if this is a wild fish. What, what scenario do you have wild fish versus hatchery here? Are there more? Of which, because we've seen a lot of wild fish today. Yeah, and more than likely those are uh, what we call misclips. We did have a couple true wilds though. But um, uh, because the hatchery is right around the corner, uh, most of the fish that we're catching today are hatchery fish. There, Johnny got another one across the creek there. No, oh, he got Toby. He got Toby. <laughs> <laughs> Let me reel down one more time. Oops, can't reel down any more than that. Beautiful fish. Wild one. Well, we don't think that's a mess clip, but it might be. Hooks out. There it is, a typical. It's that? a wild fish, right? Yep, true wild fish. And we know it's wild because that's not clipped right there. Right, and it's not a misclip, it's a true wild one. We gotta get this one back in. 